starts now. There's just no breaking the fall from grace for the most famous cyclist athlete in the world. And today, as more evidence surfaces suggesting Lance Armstrong was doping during his career, Armstrong resigned as chairman of his cancer charity, Live Strong. It is a charity that has strong ties right here in the valley. Eric Fink has tonight's big story. Michelle Rowland in 2007, Live Strong and the Treasure Valley YMCA partnered together to help bring about cancer awareness here locally. Tonight, one cancer survivor says Lance Armstrong's character may be in question, but no one should question his determination and commitment to help millions fight cancer around the world. I don't think without Live Strong's funding that we would have had a cancer screening that day. Boise's Chad Ward gets on the bike three times a week and competes in triathlons. Two years ago, during a workout at the YMCA, a representative with Lance Armstrong's Live Strong Foundation convinced Chad to undergo a cancer screening. Doctors diagnosed him with melanoma. Live Strong and the YMCA saved my life. Through a dedicated partnership going strong for five years and counting, the Y and Live Strong help many others like Chad. And the Y says that commitment remains, despite Lance Armstrong's fall from grace and Wednesday's announcement. We got into it because of the work that was being done by Livestrong, not because of Lance Armstrong. It, it was the work that it gave us the opportunity to do, and that's why we're still in it, and we're going to be in it for a long time. And this Valley Cancer Survivor says it's not his place to pass judgment. Instead, he'll pedal on his bike, proudly wearing his Livestrong bracelet, most grateful for the day that changed his life two years ago. I do believe that he's made some errors in judgment, and I do think that he's made some unethical choices, but I am so happy for the things that he's done that are positive because they've affected me so well. And since introducing those yellow bracelets you just saw right there in 2004, the foundation says it's become a global symbol for cancer awareness, selling more than 80 million of them. Live tonight, Eric Fink, Fox 9 on your side. We now know the locations of nine.